Hello, I'm Chris here today at Equiparts to show you the Hinge Doctor tool and its applications. So what we're going to do today is go through the different tools and what they do and actually how to use them on the door here. Um, this tool is a must-have for every commercial uh, maintenance repairman. These can be used to repair doors that could cost hundreds of dollars to fix and it can be used again and again. So in the kit here we have four different tools. The first one is just used on standard residential hinges. Uh, this tool has a little bit of a different application and use than the other ones that we're going to demonstrate today, but this tool will help you fix your smaller hinges. The next tool is going to be one of the most common just used on normal commercial hinges. And another nice feature about these tools in all the larger sizes is we have these grooves on the side that you can use a wrench on and uh, it gives you a different way to adjust the door. The next one uh, is used for ball bearing hinges and slightly larger hinges. And the last size is used on spring hinges and prison and institutional hinges. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the tool on a door that's actually sagging. Notice the size of the gap between the door and the frame above the hinge. As we move along the top edge of the door, you can see that the gap between the top of the door and the frame gets larger the further we move away from the hinge. And the gap between the door and the frame is almost non-existent on the opposite side of the hinge. And as we move down the length of the door, you can see the gap between the door and the frame gets much wider at the bottom. The differences in these gaps indicate a sagging door. So the problem occurs uh, not as prominent on this door. When the doors start to sag even more, when they go to shut, they'll hit the frame and they won't shut all the way. So what this tool does, and what we're going to try to solve here, is to bend this hinge back into place so that it, everything's aligned again. Alright, so to repair the issue, we're going to use the normal commercial tool. And it's very simple. Just slide it over your top hinge. This is recommended for use only on the top hinge. And if you still have an issue, you can go down to the second hinge. It's not recommended, but never use it on the bottom hinge. Um, we open up the door, and once you feel the tool bind, which I feel right now, you pull it about 20% further back, and that should bend the hinge into place and change the gap. So we'll take a look. And as you can see, now that we've used the hinge doctor tool, the gap on this corner, as opposed to the top corner, is even now and where you can really see a difference uh, and is when this was almost touching the frame before we have a, a nice gap here and going down we're almost even the whole way down. As you can see the tool was very simple to use and it was done quickly in under 20 seconds. Um, this is a good tool for schools, hospitals, prisons, any commercial building, anywhere where there's doors and there's doors everywhere. I'm Chris from Equiparts. Thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel as we'll be putting out more informative videos in the future. Thanks.